A debate has been raging amongst Armenians after Parliament Speaker Alen Simonyan was accused on Sunday of spitting in the face of a member of the general public after he was heckled and called a traitor. According to media reports, Juan Garen Megardichian, a Canadian Armenian, claimed that after heckling the speaker, Simonyan's security team was ordered to grab Megardichian, after which Simonyan cussed at him and spat in his face. Simonyan did not deny the incident, nor spitting in Megardichian's face. In fact, he wrote on Facebook that he had previously been insulted by Megardichian. He stated that he ignored him during the first incident a month ago, adding that anyone offending the Armenian authorities will get a legal response. Later on Monday, Simonian claimed that his bodyguards stopped Megardichian from attacking him. The incident received widespread condemnation, with opposition politicians describing it as hooliganism on the part of Simonian. Even Armenia's first post-independence leader, Levondet Bedrosian, issued a statement today in which he described Simonian's actions as unforgivable and called for his immediate dismissal. Der Petrosian added that the word traitor is not a personal insult, but purely a political assessment, which should be countered not by saliva, but by correct and reasonable responses. As of Monday, authorities have not stipulated whether an investigation into the incident will be launched. This isn't the first time Simonian has been caught in a scandal or even a brawl with a member of the public. In 2020, Simonian got into a bust-up with an outspoken anti-government activist who he accused of shouting insults. Simonian later commented on the incident in a Facebook Live, appearing with a swollen face. <laughs> Back in 2021, we saw Armenia's parliament descend into numerous brawls between lawmakers. Some see this as the way of democracy, as has been seen in other democratic countries, and others as the desperate level of polarization in Armenia after the 2020 military defeat against Azerbaijan. Simonian's spitting incident comes after another scrap took place in Armenia's legislature on Friday. One Meher Sahakyan of the opposition Armenia Alliance was arrested after he was accused of punching ruling party party lawmaker Vladimir Vartanyan in the midst of a verbal argument. Video from Parliament's CCTV cameras showed Sahakyan racing through the corridors away from the scene of the incident. Vartanyan was treated in hospital for a facial injury, while Sahakyan was let out of detention today. Ironically, videos also appeared later that day showing Speaker Simonyan speaking and instructing security personnel and police officers in Parliament. Investigators said later in the day that Sahakyan, unlike Simonyan, was placed under arrest on suspicion of hooliganism. And yet there has been more this week. During a parliamentary committee hearing on Monday, a ruling party lawmaker, Gabriel Yan, stated that the Prime Minister's son, Ashot Pashinyan, had been beaten by assailants. Despite an outpouring of support for Ashot online, the PM's son released a statement categorically denying that he had been beaten or faced any sort of physical violence. In light of these incidents, a debate has sparked amongst the population. To what extent can citizens insult public figures and in what arena? What should the punishment be for physical assaults? And why can't civil discourse be the avenue through which disagreements are addressed? Alas, in some countries, the right to insult is guaranteed in any venue. You deputy Stag. Hey, you. Hey, I apologize now for my use of de unparliamentary de language. Fogarty, that is most unparliamentary language. Is Whilst in others, lukewarm insults like scum can see a more severe reaction. But, uh, excuse me, did the honourable lady just call me scum? Order! 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 From the front bench, we will not have remarks like that. Not under any circumstances, no matter how heartfelt it might be, not at all.